Gyan Timidan Dasya, Gyanam Jana Shrakaya, Chakshuran Meritam Gyena, Tasmai Shri Gurave, Namam Vishnu Padanya, Krishna Prestaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti Vedanta, Saminiti Namane, Namam Vishnu Padanya, Radhikaya Priyatmane, Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta, Narayaniti Namine <coughs> Vancha Kalpata Dubyascha Kripasan Dubyayavicha Putitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Vrindai Tulasite Vyai Priyaye Keshavasacha Krishna Bhakti Pradedevi Satyavachai Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Go Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Давайте ближе сюда. Пусть там место не побольше. Место, да. Вот это вот, я не знаю. So today is very, very good time now. Все, сейчас очень замечательное время. Ради uh, Huge, huge festival. It's a huge festival in India. When the British went to India, they were shocked when they saw that festival. So huge, huge chariots moving down the road. <coughs> and they made this word, Juggernaut. They made a, a, a new word, juggernaut. In, in English, it means something very, very huge. So millions of people there. Jagannath is very, very merciful. He stays within the temple. And... Hmm, Westerners can't get in, in there. A Gurudev said, even if a breeze comes from the west, they won't allow that breeze in the temple. Very strict. Our Gurudev went. They said, oh, you've got blue eyes and very light skin. <laughs> but when his, some panda came and Chastised them. So he went to the soul. Jagannath moves the Jagannath cart at his own will. For example, when just about four or five months after Srila Sarasati Prabhupada was born, See, he was born in February. And then, uh, Ratyatra time, his father, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he's high court judge. And big officer in Orissa. So he was living right on the main road. So the cart came and it stopped right outside the house. They couldn't move it. It stayed there for two, three days. So during that time, uh, Taku Bhaktivinoda's wife came with a little boy, Bhima Prasad. And she offered to, she climbed up on the cart and she offered to Jagannath. 
a big garland fell off Jagannath onto the baby. Everyone could understand all. Oh, this is a very big blessing from Jagannath. Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, he relates the pastime. There was one uh, very, very great devotee of Jagannath lived on the road, main roadway in Puri. But he wasn't quote unquote pure Hindu, so they wouldn't allow him in the temple. So every day, uh, every uh, every Rathiatra, the cart would stop outside his house and he'd come and offer prayers, and then the cart would go on. One year during Rathiatra time, he was in Vrindavan. Very, very sick, he couldn't travel. So the cart came to his house, stopped. They tried to move the cart, because he's not there. The cart wouldn't move. They got elephants, the cart wouldn't move. They performed yagya, the cart wouldn't move. So after some time, some weeks later, this devotee came back. Oh, Jagannath outside my house. So he offered his prayers. The cart moved off. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it's related that the cart was on coming towards Gundichi temple. And then, like lunchtime, cart stopped, Jagannath stopped. And it says in Chaitanya Charitamrita that everyone was, they were offering coconuts. It says they were throwing the coconuts. I think, oh my God, people are throwing coconuts in the crowd. But actually they take the coconuts and they throw them on the ground. And this way, even from a long way away, not just by the car. Hundreds of yards back, people are offering food to Jagannath. And he's accepting. He's very kind. There was one Muslim devotee of Jagannath. He wanted to, he, he wanted to worship Jagannath. In the end, he said, if I can't have Darshan Jagannath, then I'll fast to death. So he sat outside the main gate. And he just started praying to Jagannath. Fasting. Next morning, uh, Pujari comes into the temple. Jagannath's gone! So they ran around trying to find Jagannath. And they found Jagannath standing just inside the main gate. And this devotee, oh, praying and praying and praying, crying. So now we can see that uh, Patitapavan Jagannath. He's staying there. So even fallen. Westerners like ourselves, we can get the mercy. So Jagannath is very kind. Generally he stays in the temple, but then every year he comes out and he gives darshan to everybody. Jagannath, he gives everyone in, darshan to everyone in the universe. Mm. Oh, so after, after that lunchtime break, a Lord, uh, Lord Chaitanya gave his mercy to Pratap Rudra Maharaj. So then they wanted to start the cart and take Jagannath to Gundicha. Cart wouldn't move. 
So the king became agitated. Then he brought the wrestlers. And he was also pulling. The car didn't move. They brought the elephants. And they were beating the elephants. And the elephants are crying. And still the car wouldn't move. And then Lord Chaitanya came, he was watching. And then he came with all his associates. And he gave the ropes to the associates. And then he went behind the car. And he pushed with his head. And then the car. To Gundicha. So Gundicha means Brindavan. Jagannath is Krishna in the mood. Uh, Jagannath is Krishna in the mood of separation from devotees in Vrindavan. I think I related two stories. True. Last Sunday. About, about the appearance of Jagannath. Yeah. So one more story. What is your nice story? Srila Gogovinda Maharaj, he told this story. Srila Gogovinda Goswami Maharaj, he told this story. Some devotees came and they asked some question about uh, Vrindavan and Dwaraka. So he related this pastime. And he became very, very deeply immersed in Bhav. Please excuse me, we can't talk anymore. And then after some time, he left. It was what day? It was some great day. It was just just before, just before Gorpurnima. He was in my boat. Uh, something like that, yeah. So afterwards, uh, then they gave him Samadhi in Bhuvaneshwar. So when Babaji Maharaj came, he said he should have been careful. No, he should have been careful. He said he's not the first one who's left his body relating that pastime. But that pastime is not in any written scripture. So Gurudev said when he when he heard that pastime, he was very astonished. And he could understand that uh, Srila Gogavinda Maharaj, he was a very, very advanced devotee in the same line as Srila Srila our Gurudev. So, uh, Krishna, he was very, very deeply absorbed in mood of Vrindavan, in once in Dwarka. So deeply absorbed that all the inhabitants in Dwarka, they became very anxious. And they discussed what to do, what to do. Actually, the only thing to do is actually to take him to Brindavan. But then they became very worried. How will they bring him back again? Anyway, somehow let's take him to Brindavan. But somebody should go to Brindavan and tell them that he's coming. So Baladev, will you go? Say, no, they won't accept, they won't believe me. I already went and told them. I said, he's coming, he's coming, very soon he's coming. And then I went back to Dwaraka. I told him, they're waiting for you, they're waiting for you. And his mouth said, yes, 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 I'll go, I'll go. But he never went. 
Udo also said, I can't go. So then they, they said, who can go? Who can tell them? So then Subhadra said, I will go. I'm a lady. I will go and sit on Madhya Shoda's lap. And I say, oh, ma. Yo, dear Lala is coming. Very soon he's coming. And she'll believe me. So then they arrange. Okay, so Subhadra will go first. So she got on a chariot. And then she set off. She said, I'll tell them that Krishna is a little delayed because people are worshipping him on the way. And then Baladev got in his chariot. Uh, and he left. And then they got Krishna, they brought Krishna. And Krishna was like completely drunk. So they were leading him to the chariot. Just like when they bring Jagannath. <coughs> so they're bringing him with huge silken ropes. <coughs> so high, so heavy. They're lifting him. <coughs> On pillows all the way, silken pillows. So they got Krishna on his chariot. And he's like completely drunk. So the chariot's going here and there, very dangerous. Meanwhile, in Vrindavan, great crisis. In Vrindavan. Crisis. Shimati Radhika is going to leave. Everyone gathered around. Uh, praying and praying for her health. Abhimanyu came. He's offering prayers. Oh, please excuse me. Please excuse me. Jyotila Kotila were coming. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. We made so much disturbance. Radha becoming weaker, weaker, weaker. And then just as she's ready to leave, Subhadra came in her chariot. Oh, Krishna's coming, Krishna's coming, Krishna's coming. Had a, a garland from Krishna. And they gave the garland to Shimati Radhika. And then she opened her eyes. Krishna. And then Krishna came also. And Krishna is looking at Radha. And his eyes opened so wide. He became completely stunned in ecstasy. Body melting. And Baladev also. And Subhadra also, all melting in praise. What to do, what to do? And then Radha told her friends, you go and whisper, Radha, Radha, Radha. You have to whisper Radha in Krishna's ear. So then gradually they came back to their own. And Narada Muni came. He took the opportunity. So he said, I want to worship this form. I want this this form form should be worshipped. So this is the third reason for the appearance of Jagannath. So Hera Panchami, very special festival. We have to understand, mood in Vrindavan, mood in Dvaraka are very different. What's the difference? Uh, this is main reason. 
Generally speaking, devotees in Vrindavan do not know that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. <coughs> this is not ignorance. It's Yoga Maya. There's Mahamaya Yoga Maya. Mahamaya means ignorance. Under the influence of Mahamaya, we're thinking I'm this body. This is my wife, my husband, my house, my car, my computer, my computer, my 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 aham mamete, I mine. So this is false ego. Real ego. What is real ego? Ah. I'm servant of Krishna. This is real ego. Anyway, this I is there. Aham sarva se prabhu. Matta sarva prabhu. Krishna says it too also. Aham. Aham eva asam eva great. I exist. I, I, me. So when we link our ego, we link our self, our identity to Krishna, then this is real ego. Когда мы соединяем свою сущность с Кришной вот, по направлению к Нему, тогда это уже начинает работать наше истинное эго. False ego is not only pride. Uh, ложное эго это не только гордость. Supposing there's somebody very poor. Но можно представить, что, например, кто-то очень беден. Very serious disease. Очень сильно болен. And they're thinking, oh, I'm very fallen, I'm very sick. И он думает, я такой падший, я такой больной. This is real ego or false ego? Как вы думаете, это ложное эго? The humble, no pride. This is false ego. False ego because because they're identifying with the with the body. So false ego is not only pride. It means I belong here in this material world. This material world is real or false? Материальный мир, он истинный или ложный? Это вопрос. Real, but temporary. You're supposed to be translated. Вот разберитесь, если ты будешь говорить на английском, я буду Real, but it's temporary. Да, это мир реальный, но он временный. So what is illusion? В чем заключается иллюзия? What is illusion? Что такое иллюзия? Это вопрос. Отношение к этому миру. Ah, our relationship with this with this world. This is illusion. So can you say to your wife that actually I have no relationship with you? Can you say? <laughs> then? How are we going to reconcile? Им devotee, they can't say, oh, I don't have any relationship with you. Даже преданные не могут сказать, что я не имею никаких отношений с тобой. Да? Что же делать? Сделать ее преданной. А? Сделать ее преданной. No, she's devotee already. Она уже преданная. You're not my child. Ты не мой ребенок. Then what are we going to do? Нам нужно относиться к ней как к преданному господу. It's a temporary relationship. As long as we're conditioned, then we have to work through this human body. Krishna has given us this body so that we can perform sadhana. Uh, otherwise we can't develop bhav and prem and go to the spiritual world and play with Krishna. Uh, so then we have to consider that these relationships, they're real. But temporary. Uh, and gradually, gradually our relationship with Krishna will become more and more. But still, a devotee will perform his duties in the world. He said, my wife, my children, they're all your property and I'm maintaining them 
as service to you. Он говорил, Господь, моя жена, мои дети, это твоя собственность, а я просто их поддерживаю, помогаю таким образом служить тебе. Otherwise, if we deny all relationships, before we're ready, then chaos. How? And then, oh, big problem. We find ourselves in another set of relationships. So hair punch me very special time. Mahamaya mm. Yoga Maya. All the devotees in Vrindavan under Yoga Maya they forget that Krishna is the Lord. Otherwise their love cannot be so strong. Because if Mother Yashoda thinks, oh, this is the Supreme Personality Godhead. Then how, how can she look after him? He doesn't need it. And how can she chastise him? So then love shrinks. Krishna doesn't want that. So he throws the veil of Yoga Maya. When Krishna Balaram saved Devaki and Vasudev in Mathura. So Vasudev and Devaki thought, oh, the Supreme Lord. Supreme Lords, they've come to save us. And they offered prayers. But Krishna Balaram, what? This is our mom and dad. Why don't they hug us? <laughs> so then Krishna threw his yoga maya. And then they, oh, our beautiful sons have come. Oh, we haven't seen them for so long. And hugging them and kissing them. <laughs> Krishna leaves from Dvaraka. <coughs> this is Ratiyatra. He's leaving and he makes some excuse. He makes some excuse to Goddess of Fortune. Bimala. He says, oh, I want to go on holiday. But Krishna is very tricky. If he goes off by himself, she'll think, oh, he's going off to seek some other lady. <laughs> so Krishna says to Balda, hey, let's go off for holiday together. <laughs> and then, I know, I'll take Subhadra as well. So Baladev, he, Krishna knows, Baladev already, he knows what to do. He doesn't interfere with all the pastimes. He has his own pastimes anyway. And Subhadra should stay with Madhya Shoda. She won't interfere either. So they all set off. Bimala. Okay, come back soon. Yes. And then after some three, four days, she becomes agitated. Where's he gone? And then somehow or other she finds out he's gone to Brindavan. Brindavan? What? They didn't cow herds. They don't have anything there. No jewels, nothing. Why he's gone to Brindavan? Like, mother's cooked very nice meal. And she's waiting for her son to come back from school. So son comes back. Oh, sit down. I just made this big meal. All your favorite dishes. I said, oh, ma, I had so many chips. I'm not hungry. Chips! I just made this real food. All your favorite. You've eaten chips? So this is kind of anger and love. How can you accept something inferior to my love? 
So, Bimala, she's in this mood. How he can reject my love and go there when there's nothing there? Cowherd girls. They're sticking cow stool on the walls. Putting flowers in their hair. Poor people. <laughs> they don't know. So, oh, Bimala became very angry. So then that time, this big festival. Maharaj Pataparudra, he was very, very enlightened. Because he's just got mercy from Lord Chaitanya. He went to Lord Chaitanya dressed in ordinary clothes. Massaged Lord Chaitanya's legs when he's in ecstasy. He didn't know what was happening. And singing Gopi Gita. And Lord Chaitanya is in, in, in ecstasy. And he embraced Maharaj Pratapurudra. Gave so, so much mercy to him. So Maharaj Pratap Rudra, oh, I got Darshan of the Lord, I got his mercy. So he told Kashi Mish, he called Kashi Mishra and the superintendent of the temple. This hair punch me, it was more opulent than uh, Rathyatra even. And make sure Lord Chaitanya, he can see everything. So Lord Chaitanya, his associates, they went back to uh, Nilachal to see Hirapanchami. So then Bhima, they, they see the servants of, uh, servants of the Goddess of Fortune coming. Bhima? No, they see the servants of the goddess of fortune. So they arrest the servants of Jagannath. They tie them up with cloth. And they chastising them. Making jokes. Rude words. Loose language. <laughs> Rathi <laughs> <laughs> is that kind of time. <laughs> when the what the, the dieters, they're moving Jagannath. They're abusing him like anything. They're calling him brother-in-law. This is very big in, in India. This is very big insult. Means I've been with your sister. So they're chastising, insulting Lord Jagannath. Very special move. So then the goddess of fortune came on a palanquin. Anyone here has seen Hera Panchami this festival? Anyone see? You saw? No. It, seem, huh? oh, she saw. it seems to me they're all men dressed up as women. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, Lord Chaitanya and his associates, they're seeing. And they're all covering their faces and they're laughing. So then, Lord Chaitanya, he's talking to Saradamada. He said, Jagannath is so merciful. He, he, lives, in, uh, he lives in Puri, like Dwarka. But every year he comes to Vrindavan. So then they began discussing the moods of Vrindavan, moods of Dvaraka. <laughs> and glorifying the mood of Vrindavan. So Lord Chaitanya said, I've never seen a mood like Bhimala. 
I've seen Satya Bhama in Dwaraka, she becomes angry. Little man there. In Kshatriya families, they have a special room for anger. So when lady is angry, she puts on dirty old clothes, takes off all her ornaments, and then she goes into the anger room and she cries. And then the husband has to come in and pacify her. Oh, I love you so much. What can I do to perform? Oh, there must have been some misunderstanding. So such a bomb is like this. Sometimes. But when Krish sometimes like when in the past time when Narada Muni uh, made a whole incident in, in Dwarka. And Krishna was glorifying the gopis. And then Satyabhama manifested man in order to hear Krishna glorify the gopis. Too much. Krishna became so angry. Yeah. He was shouting, where is that woman? Bring her! He didn't go to the anger room. <laughs> she dressed herself quickly and came and she's hiding behind the pillar and looking. <laughs> Krishna shouting and shouting. You think I love you? I can leave you all. Why did I marry you? Just so I can remember the gopis. You people don't remind me of the gopis. You're not as qualified as the gopis. I can go to Vrindavan any time. She's behind the pillar shaking. But if Krishna shouts at the gopis like that, oh, oh no way. Their man is quite different. Very, very different. So, uh, then Sri Sardamada Goswami, he said, I've never seen man like this. Such a Bama, she has her man. And the gopis have their man. <coughs> but this Bhimala, <coughs> oh, she's coming with all her soldiers, she's just attacking. <coughs> Amazing. <coughs> and then Sardamada Goswami, he started to glorify Vrindavan. <coughs> and especially man. <coughs> So he said there's three, with, with regard to man, there's three different kinds of uh, gopis. There's dhira, adhira, and dhira, adhira. There's peaceful, not peaceful, the adhira. And then dhira, dhira, sometimes peaceful, sometimes not peaceful. So dhira gopis, when there's man, when, when they're in man, Krishna's made some offense. But they receive him. They may embrace him, they may not embrace him. This is dhira. And adhira, oh, oh. Very serious rebuking, insulting him, and then dhiradhira. Sometimes it calm and peaceful looks like, and sometimes it's completely indifferent. Ah. You better go off and find that gopi again. She must be crying, she's missing you. Go and find her. I don't want you here. You don't, you don't need to be here. So, dhira, adhira, and dhira, adhira. And then there's three other divisions of gopis also. Those who are very young and innocent. They're not 
experienced in loving affairs. They're called mugda. So when Krishna has made some offense, they just cover their face and cry. <laughs> and then there's pragalbha. Pragalbha is very, very strong and fierce. Like Lalita Devi, she's Pragalpa. She'll chastise anybody. She'll chastise Krishna, she'll chastise Radha. We should understand this is all transcendental and it's all pure love. They're simply creating different moods. Variety. It's like a play. I don't know about ladies, but men sometimes they're very rough with each other, just joking. To like to create a particular mood. And then they're enjoying the mood. Shouting at each other, fighting each other. Be careful. Shri Gurudev said, be careful. Because if you're joking, oh, fear. If you're joking about a devotee, you may make offenses. Supposing you're joking with criticizing somebody in joke, but he doesn't accept the joke, then it may be offense. Problem. So we have to be very careful. Hmm. So Lalita, she can chastise Krishna. Krishna will come to Radha. Oh, you are the most beautiful. I'm, and then Lalita says, who do you think you are? You're nonsense. You're off with everybody else. Don't come next to my friend. Krishna. Or Radhika. Like she may receive a letter from Krishna. Oh, heart melting. She only wants to go to see him. And Lali says, don't go, don't agree. He'll cheat you, he's always cheating you. Play hard to get. Don't agree with anything. So she's teaching Shimadhi Radhika how to refuse. So chastising Krishna, chastising Radha, this is Pragalpa. When she becomes angry, oh, <laughs> That's some Russian I should learn? No, it's Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine. And then there's Madhyam. So there's Mukta, Pragalpa and Madhyam. So Shimati Radhika, she's Dhira Dhira Madhyam. Sometimes one, sometimes the other. So uh, she's Saradamada, he was describing all these different kinds of man. And Lord Chaitanya he became so happy. So Bimala, she's she's showing man. Bimala na pokazuje nastrojenie mana. Like he's gone on holiday and he didn't take me with him. On odprawił się na wodpusk i nie wziął nawet mnie z sobą. Why not? Почему nie wziął? So Lord Chaitanya asked Swar Damodar, why didn't Krishna take Lakshmi? I tego Lord Chaitanya spraszcza to Swarup wybierze. Почему on nie wziął z sobą Lakshmi? So why didn't Krishna take Lakshmi? I to wopros zdał tutaj. Почему Кришна не взял Лакшми с собой? Это вопрос. Потому что она не согласилась на отношения. А? Она не соглашалась на отношения вне замужества. Ага. Different mood. Совершенно другое настроение. Like, Lakshmi was performing austerities in Bailvan. Было время, когда в лесу Билавану Лакшми она совершала аскезы. In the end, Krishna or Purnamasi came. Krishna, let's say. Тогда пришел Кришна с Пурнамаси. So you've been performing austerities. What do you want? I want to enter into Rasalila. 
So Lakshmi Devi, she has a bit of a mood. She's very, very chaste uh, Brahmini. Uh, the Christian says, no, you can't. You're not qualified. Not qualified? Who can be more qualified than me? These are different qualifications, lady. But what kind of qualification? What do I have to do to enter? Well, you have to become a gopi. You have to take birth as a gopi. Yeah, gopi. Gopi, they're so... I mean, they live in the forest with a cow. <laughs> and then Krishna said, and you have to make cow dung patties and put them on the wall. <laughs> Me? Cow dung patties? <laughs> that comes out of the backside of a cow. <laughs> Krishna said, well, I, I told you you don't have the qualification. <laughs> Well, all right, supposing I train, then is that all right? There's something else. What else? What, what could be worse than that? <laughs> you have to marry someone else and associate with, with me as my lover. What? I'm chasing... Associate with somebody else? Marry someone else? How is it possible? It's like, it's completely inconceivable. Absolutely impossible. So she doesn't have that mood. She can't give up that conception of being a high-class Brahmani in order to associate with Krishna. She has desire, but not desire like gopis. Lakshmi, Lakshmi is most pious. But gopis are more pious. But still they threw everything out to associate with Krishna. So Lakshmi wasn't qualified. And that's why Krishna didn't take her. Like supposing a teenager wants to go to disco. And his grandmother says, hey, that sounds like fun, I'll go with you. So if Lakshmi is there in the Rasa dance, and she wants to dance with her husband like a queen, <laughs> and then he's all Low class girls. <laughs> Wouldn't work at all. So Krishna left her and she became angry. So then mm, mm, uh, Shiva's Pandit was watching. So Shiva's Pandit, his mood is mood of worshipping Lakshmi Narayan. He's not so much in mood of Vrindavan. All of them can change mood. Advaita Acharya is Sadashiv or Mahavishnu. It's a mood of awe and reverence. But when Lord Chaitanya came to stay in his house no, just after he'd taken Prasad, so he began singing a song. Oh, now I've gained my love. I'm, I've been missing him for so long. Uh, so in the mood of Shimati Radhika, sometimes in, in Navadvip he used to dance in the mood of the gopis. So not exactly fixed. So that time Shiva's Thakur 
He is watching how Goddess of Fortune came. So many, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of attendants, followers, all with gorgeous gold and jewels, charmers, amazing. And so now is going, oh, look at my goddess of fortune. How opulent she is. How brilliant. How beautiful. What is there in Vrindavan? Why did Krishna go to Vrindavan? So maybe he's also making some mood. Like our Srila Bhaktivedanta Srivikram Maharaj. He would like annoy our Gurudev. So the Gurudev would begin, he would get fired up and he'd give so much very beautiful Haricatha. <laughs> So like he told one devotee, if you want to get the bit of the ghee out of the bottom of the can, you've got to crook your finger. He said, I know how to bend my finger. <laughs> Means I, know, I know how to wind Gurudeva. <laughs> one time we were in, oh, Gokul Mahavan, not Gokul Mahavan, Nandagam, at uh, Nandabaitak. <coughs> so Srila Gurudev, <coughs> he was explaining how Nan, uh, the Nandababa's brothers called him. Nanda, come sit here. Uh, they said, we've got something to say to you. We have something to say to you. We're, we're not happy with the way that you with the way that you're treating Krishna. He is not an ordinary person. He might be a very elevated uh, demigod. He might even be God Himself. Because we've heard from Gargamuni and others. And Nanda Baba started laughing. Do you think Krishna is God? Look, even the saints, they're so beautiful character. They don't lie, they don't steal, they don't become angry. And Krishna is such a nonsense. He tells lies. He steals butter. If he can't find any butter, he breaks the pots. He'll tease the children and make them cry. He'll pee on the floor. And then he'll leave. He'll be guide. Mm. And he gets angry if he can't get what, what he wants. Crying for his mother's milk ten times a day. How can he be God? I heard the cowherd men, they only become mature when they're 80 years old. <laughs> So now I see this is right. He began to laugh and laugh. Krishna is God. Laugh. And then they all laughing and laughing. And laughing. So our Gurudev, he related this pastime. And then Srila Trivikram Maharaj, he got up to give Harikatha. So he said, one thing you should understand. It's very, very important to understand this. Krishna is Nanda Baba's grandfather. Krishna is Nanda Baba's grandfather. And Krishna is Nanda Baba's grandfather. Krishna is Nanda Baba's grandfather. That Brahmaji, he's the creator of the whole universe. So he's the father of Nanda Baba. And Krishna is the father of Brahmaji. So he's Nanda Baba's grandfather. <laughs> so she knew Gurudev, then he began cutting and cutting. 
So Shiri Trivikumar is very expert. But sometimes they really disagree. <laughs> I remember one time I saw uh, Shila Trivikam Maharaj with Shila Gurudev. They were uh, Ramgat. And they were sitting on that platform, concrete platform there. And Shila Trivikam Maharaj, he was talking to, to Gurudev. And Gurudev was laughing so much, he almost fell off the platform. Almost. <laughs> 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 So maybe Shiva's taku is like this. Anyway, he's saying, hey, what, what is this pretty dark? Lord Chitani is laughing. Lord Chitani is what do you think? Lord oh, said, you don't know my pretty dark. There, Shia Kanta, Kanta, Parama Purusho, Kalpataravo. He said that the beloveds there, they're all goddesses of fortune. And who's the hero? He's the supreme personality. And they're playing together. And where are they playing? Oh, the ground is wish fulfilling. Uh, Every step there is a dance. Every word is a song. The cows are all uh, wish-fulfilling cows. Lakshmi Sahasra Shata Sambrahma Sevimana Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Jam Earth there, wish fulfilling gems. The gopis don't need it. They use it for ankle bells. These little stones, they make a nice noise. And there's forests and forests and forests of trees, millions and millions of trees. Like if you travel in Russia by train, day after day, it's just trees and trees and trees. <coughs> but what kind of trees there? Wish fulfilling trees. So how can they be missing anything? And then in those forests, there's millions and millions and millions and millions of cows. What kind of cows? Wish-fulfilling cows. And the ground is wet with their milk, wish-fulfilling milk. Is there yes, millions! Lakshmi Sahasra says, Lakshmi Sahasra Shata Sambrama Sevimana. There's thousands of millions of goddesses of fortune and they're all serving Krishna. So what can be lacking in Vrindavan? If you think that your jewels are better than the flowers in Vrindavan, you're mad. All the jewels in Vaikuntha can't buy one flower from Vrindavan. Not possible. So Vrindavan is more opulent, but it's covered. Covered by sweetness. So Sarvadamada Goswami, he was like explaining like this. And then all the devotees became very ecstatic. And Shiva's Thakur, he started dancing. So his mood changed and he was going... Like Madhu Mangat is doing like this. You can't do that with a shirt on. 
And even I'm not sure if I could do it without a shirt. Даже так вот это на каком-то не когда даже без рубашки. It takes some practice. Для этого нужна особая практика. There's probably some special squelching ointment. Это особый особый звук, особая техника. So this way, uh, Lord Chaitanya and uh, Saradamada and other devotees, they're all enjoying the moods of Vrindavan. Таким образом, Господь Читания, Саруддамадара со своими другими преданными, они все наслаждались настроением Вриндавана. Feeling that they're actually in Vrindavan. И на самом деле, настолько они погрузились, что чувствовали себя в муд. And Lord Chaitanya, he's enjoying the mood of being the servant of Shrimati Radhika. А Господь Читания наслаждался настроением служанки Шримати Радхики. It's very rare. Krishna cannot enjoy. He can't taste the mood of Shrimati Radhika. And he can't taste the mood of her assistance either. One time, Srila uh, Gurudev, he wrote to me that only in Chaitanya Leela, Krishna can taste this mood. Однажды Кришна Гурдев написал мне письмо, в котором он говорил, что только Кришна, который явился как Господь Читания в Читании Лили, может испытать вот это настроение. Actually, main times when Lord Chaitanya was showing extreme ecstasy. Это самый яркий момент, когда Господь Читания он проявил просто экстремальное такое. Like when he jumped in Yamuna, not Yamuna, into the ocean. Он когда он прыгнул в океан. He was thinking that it's Yamuna. Он просто думал, что это Yamuna в этом давании. And one fisherman caught him in the net. And his body had become like three, four meters long. This, between all his joints, there's this much space, just skin. And then devotees are crying and crying. And they're chanting Hari Bol, Hari Krishna. And then all his limbs came together and he came back to himself. And then he described how he was watching Radha and Krishna's pastimes in Yamuna. Playing together, very, very beautiful pastimes. See, he wasn't that time in the mood of Shrimati Radhika because he was seeing Radha and Krishna together. Uh, then, Another time, mm, he, he went. He went to uh, these hills of sand. And he began. He saw them as Govardhan. He began running to them. <coughs> and then suddenly he became stunned. And then he was exhibiting all astrosatmic powers. And when he returned to himself, so he described how he'd been at Govardhan. And he was watching Radha and Krishna. And he was picking flowers under the direction of the senior gopis. And then he saw Radha and Krishna going into a cave. So all these times of extreme ecstasy, actually Lord Chaitanya was exhibiting, was tasting Madhuri Bhav. And, and in Gundicha also he especially enjoyed this mood of Vrindavan. That I have brought Krishna back to Vrindavan. <laughs> He's been away for so long. But now I brought him back. Like Srila Jeev Goswami, he describes how, in the end, Krishna actually came back to Vrindavan. It's not described in Srimad Bhagavatam. But Srila Jeev Goswami, he resolves everything. Krishna returns to Vrindavan, and then beautiful pastimes, and then everyone goes back to the spiritual world. That's Sri Yashodanandan Krishna. Это другой Кришна и Шабананда. И then Девики Нандан Кришна. А есть Девики Нандан. Васудей. He is continuing his pastimes in a different way. Он проводит свои игры другим способом. Hari Krishna. So this is very wonderful time. Это очень замечательное время. 
Anyone would like to share some questions? And <laughs> In the spiritual world, there are actually different personalities. But when Krishna manifests his pastimes here, it's the same person but in different moods. And that's why uh, Dvarakanath, Krishna, he's in so much separation from Vrindavan because he's remembering his pastimes there. He's all the time crying, crying, crying. At night, oh, Lalite, oh, Radhe, oh, Radhe. So, when it's very difficult, it would be very difficult for us to meditate on the pastimes in the spiritual world. Because there are important differences there. So therefore, if somebody has such a taste, they will meditate on pastimes in when Krishna comes to the material world. Ashtakalya Lila. Radha Krishna's pastimes in the eight periods of the day. So these are actually Lila here in this material world. Husbands are there, so-called husbands are there. Spiritual world, no husbands. So there's some important differences. So therefore, when somebody has some taste, they will meditate on the pastimes here. So, for example, Srila Krishna's Kavaraj Goswami and Srila Vrindavan's um, Thakur, they have described these pastimes. But no need to jump. At Gurudev one time, he was with us in Varshana or Govardhan. He said, don't jump. I know if I search your luggage, I'll find 100 copies of Krishna, uh, Krishna Bhavan Amrita and Sri Govinda Lila And if I found them, I would burn them. So don't jump. And at the same time, one day we'll have to enter into this mood. So we need some association and some advice. What to do, how to do, when to do. And this is one reason why we need living spiritual master. Any other question? So much. Anyone likes to relate any more pastimes? So much more. <coughs> Krishna, when he was in Dwaraka, he decided to go to Kurukshetra for the eclipse. Dwaraka, the Brajbasis, they can't go to Dwaraka. And they can't go to Mathura either. Because 
different mood completely. Потому что там совершенно другое настроение. But Kurukshetra is like neutral mood. А на Курукшетре именно какое-то нейтральное, место нейтральное настроение. So everyone assembled there. Потому что там все собираются. And Krishna was associating with the Yadus. And this was before the Battle of Kurukshetra. So they're all friends, more or less. And they're associating. And then they hear, Nanda Baba and the Brajbasis have come. Because they, Nanda Baba and Brajbasis, they decided, oh, we will also go to Kurukshetra. So when Krishna and Baladev heard that, they jumped up, they forgot everyone else. And they ran and ran to meet Nanda Baba. Mother Yashoda. So Balaram sat on Nanda Baba's lap. And Mother showed, uh, Krishna sat on Mother Yashoda's lap. So Krishna, that time, his grandfather and king. Sixteen thousand one hundred eight queens. They all had children, and their children had children. Millions of soldiers and elephants. When he saw Mother Yashoda, <coughs> he jumped into a lap and he became just like cowherd boy. And she covered him with her cloth and he began to suck her breast. Rohini became very agitated. Oh, Krishna loves Yashoda much more than he loves me. And then she began to praise Yashoda. Oh, Yashoda! It's just as though you're Krishna's real mother. No. Just as if. Like Buddha. Like Buddha. Yeah. 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 Rohini understood. <coughs> Devaki was saying. Rohini understood. Rohini was there. And then Rohini said, Oh, Devaki, come and meet the others. Rohini said to Devaki, Oh, Devaki, come and meet the others. And then Mother Yashoda saw the gopis. And she saw gopis, they're ready to die. This last, 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 last grip of life. They're almost, they're almost dying for 60 years. And now if they can't associate with Krishna, finished. So she left. And then Krishna met with the gopis in the secret place. And the gopis, they embraced Krishna through their eyes. Brought him into their hearts. And they embraced him, embraced him, embraced him. Embraced him, embraced him. And then Krishna is very tricky. If he says, oh, I've been missing you so much. And the government says, yes, we've been missing you so much. <laughs> and Chris says, oh, I've been missing you so much. Finish. So Chris sees the gopis are so eager to meet with him. So he said, my dear gopis, I don't understand why you're feeling so much separation. Don't you know that I'm the Supreme Personality of God? <laughs> you should just meditate on my lotus feet within your heart. And then you won't feel any separation at all. So in Shima Bhagavatam, so the gopis say yes. Actually, your lotus feet, they're, they're the shelter for the great yogis. They meditate on your lotus feet. And they're the shelter for those who are completely absorbed in family life. May your lotus feet be awakened within our hearts. So maybe some gopis are like this. Very submissive gopis. 
те группы, которые находятся в отношении. Но не Радика. Но не Шри Мадирадика. What? Что? Медитировать на твоей лотосной стопе. What are you talking about? Ты о чем вообще говоришь? First of all, you said Udava. Первое, сначала ты прислал Удава. And now you're telling us this nonsense meditation, Gyan. И потом ты нам говоришь эти глупости о медитации на Gyan. You think we're like those stupid goat yogis? Мы что, такие глупые как йоги? The kindergarten. Uh, Detsky sad. Detsky sad. They're meditating, meditating, meditating. Maybe they can see your lotus feet. Они медитируют, медитируют, непонятно. And we held your lotus feet and our breasts. А у нас есть твои стопы, мы их обнимаем. We're not interested in meditating. Зачем нам сидеть и медитировать? And then she calmed down. И тогда он пропустил. And she said, "There's something you should understand." Он сказал, что есть вещи, которые вы должны понять. Most people, their hearts and minds, they're one. А у большинства людей их ум и сердца не едино. But my mind is one with Vrindavan. А мой ум он всегда во Вриндаване. Vrindavan is my heart. Vrindavan is my home. Вриндаван мое сердце. Вриндаван мой дом. So you're saying you want your you you should I should put your lotus feet in my heart. Вот ты говоришь, что ты до до ну что мы должны поместить твои лотосные стопы себе в сердца. So then you have to put your lotus feet in Vrindavan. Тогда ты должен поместить свои стопы во Вриндаван. And if you don't если не хочешь, мы тогда оставим. Мы тогда оставим вообще этот мир. Мы не можем этого больше терпеть. Он говорит, ладно, я не беру в учет свои страдания, но почему ты творишь только страдания для других? Вернись. Fulfill the desires of all the Brajbasis. Исполни желания всех жителей Вриндавана. And Krishna is shaking and shaking. И это привело Кришну так настолько, что он начал трястись. So really, you should know, really, Brajbasis, they're my heart. Потому что он знает, Brajbasis, они знают истинное мое сердце. Gopis especially, they're my life. Особенно Gopis, они мои, сама моя жизнь. You're the very life of my life. А вы, а ты, Рахани, являешься жизнью моей жизни. So I will come back. Я обязательно вернусь. I just have two or four more demons to kill, and then I'll come back. Мне осталось убить всего лишь пару демонов, и я обязательно вернусь. So Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur said actually it was many years before he returned to Vrindavan, but he really did return. No, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur said that it was many years before he returned to Vrindavan, but he did not return. Srila Sarasthi Prabhupada said he would like to do, he would like to perform sadhana in Kurukshetra. Бахистан Касарсвати Такур Прабхупад писал, что он, он хотел бы совершать садхану на поле битвы Кружку. Потому что вот там разлука достигает высочайшей точки. Радха и Кришна, face to face. Радха и Кришна, они лицом стоят к лицу друг перед другом. What Krishna? Ну, и какой там Кришна? Like amnesia. Это подобно на амнезии. Забыл, забыл, where's, забыл, забыл, все. Where's his peacock feather? Где твое пыльное перо? Where's his flute? Где твоя флейта? He's wearing shoes. Where's his pitambara? Где твоя питамбара на китка? He thinks Devaki is his mother. Ты думаешь, что Девики твоя мама? Vasudev is his father. А твой Vasudev твой отец? What kind of pastimes we can have here? Какие могут быть здесь игры между нами? So much separation. Такое сильное разделение. Очень очень высокое. There's one part. I'll just tell one part, and then finish more. Yeah, now I'm just going to tell you another story, and then we'll finish. At Kurukshetra, at Kurukshetra, Satchibhama was the Lord Vishnu's mother. At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to all the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, "I want to give charity to the saints." At Kurukshetra, she said, And Narada Muni said, "Okay, if you, but if you don't, then I'm going to take Krishna's brahmachari." Narada Muni said, "Okay, if you don't do this, then I will take Krishna's brahmachari." No problem. No problem. Queens are there; they got so much gold. 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 They Krishna's Jagannath, he's the Lord of the universe. Krishna is the Lord of the universe. So Satyabhama realizes, oh, Narada Muni is going to take Krishna. Narada Muni wants to take me to Krishna. And she's wandering, crying. And as she's wandering, she sees the most beautiful, like goddess. And when she was in such a state, she saw the most beautiful, crying, like crying, rivers of tears. 
So Sachibama is so moved. Bit by bit we should enter into these moods. 